I am going to explain common collector amplifier. Amplifier having the three configurations common emitter, common base and common collector. H parameter equations are V1 HI I1 plus HRV2 I2 HF I1 plus HO V2. Now you make some approximations that uh, HR which is the reverse voltage ratio that is usually small so it is now we drop it from the equivalent circuit when we draw H0 is also very small at the admittance 10 is to power minus 5 mau so it is also dropped from the equivalent circuit when we draw using H parameters for common collector Common collector amplifier is also called emitter follower. You know why it is called emitter follower? Because the output is taken at the emitter terminal, not at the collector as was in common emitter amplifier. Here output is taken at the emitter terminal. So it is called a meter follower. Its circuit is similar to, it seems to be similar with common emitter, but the difference is the load resistance. Here load resistance is at the emitter terminal. So here input signal is applied at the base which is to be amplified forward biasing I think the emitter terminal here reverse biasing VWP base battery collector battery VWC here the load register attached at the emitter that is called RL the output is taken across it Okay. So here the voltage between base and emitter VBE. This circuit is common collector as the output terminal has output is taken across the emitter terminal. Now we draw equivalent diagram. RL is at the emitter. This is the input signal applied at the base. This is the current source. GM into VBE. The output is across the RL. This is HIE 
and the voltage across it VBE. So RL the current flowing is IP, also current flowing is IC through RL two current are flowing. Now V P E V I total it is across H I E voltage is V P E across R L it is V naught. V P is very small, so neglected. So V A is equals to approximately V naught. This is voltage follower circuit. The output voltage follows the input. Now we find voltage gain first of all. Output voltage over input voltage. You know V is slightly greater than V naught. So gain becomes less than one, or nearly equals to one. If V B is too small, then now V naught is what the two current are flowing, I P and I C. IP taken as common. You know what is IC upon IP? HFE. Forward current ratio, common ammeter. So it becomes one plus HFE. VPE is what? VPE. It is what? HIE into IP. Simple. And uh, VI, we know the value. Substituting VPE and V0, both values. And VA becomes. IP taken as common. Input resistance at the port one and one. It is VA upon IP. HF is greater than greater than 1. So this is the result of input resistance in case of common collector. HI is common. This is what GM by definition. So this is the third for input resistance in common collector case. This proves that RIC is very much greater than HIE because was a factor. There is a factor one plus GM into RL times. 
Now we are coming to the current game. This is the transistor equations, general equations. This is the general equation of a transistor. I be taken as common. So this is HFE. Gain common collector IE upon IV because IE here is the output, IB is the input. So it is 1 plus HFE. So current gain is very good, equals to HFE. Now we're coming to the voltage gain. This is the current gain multiplied by output resistor over the input resistance. RI already proved. Substituting there. Voltage gain becomes equals to HFERL upon this vector. This is what GM. So this voltage gain becomes slightly less than 1 because denominator is greater than the numerator. Now we're coming the power gain. Power gain is what voltage gain into the current gain. Substituting the two already proved. So this becomes the power gain. Output resistance between the output port. So here output resistance is what? This is RL and HIE. They are in parallel. RL and HIE are in parallel. So the parallel combination is so this is output resistance. So this is small excess for you. These are the values and you find all the other parameters. The unit of GM is mu. It is missed here, please. Not down. 